All right, spiritual seekers. It's yours truly. Apostle Howard. Present. Come with enlightenment. On how and what it is that Jesus has endured. And my sisters and brothers in Christ, because I've been in prayer. God says, if you give me, he, he gave me a number of days and I'm trying to walk in a private prayer in him. And usually I don't say when I'm going into prayer like that because I'm going to pray privately so that he rewards you openly. But whenever you're being learning to be broken from the car in your mind to see it in a spiritual sense, boy, I tell you what, it's not easy. And because God says, Jesus said in the book of Matthews, are you able to drink from the cup that I drink from? And to be baptized from the baptism I was baptized. But indeed, yes, you shall drink from the cup I drink from. And you shall be baptized um, within the baptism that I was baptized in. And to be submerged under the water. To be cleansed. To drink from the cup which what she drunk from. And you know what? I asked for God a deep, for a deeper revelation of it. But God is showing me what it is that Jesus endured on this earth and what God endured whenever he sucked his son in the name of Jesus. When he sent you in the name of Jesus. And I was listening to the man of God do his, he talked about how he had to do his son's eulogy. And I already know pain when losing a loved one, but I have not lost a child. But I'm going to say, when I lost my mom, I felt a pain. I felt the spiritual umbilical cord be cut. And I felt the separation of her flesh leaving and her spirit being separated from this earth and moving over in the name of Jesus. So when the man of God said he done his son eulogy, you don't know pain. Until you experience the pain of losing a child. I know the anger I feel whenever I know death is hoovering over my kids. And I know I battle for them. I'm getting there with these kids, boy. But he said the day that he done his son eulogy, God dropped in his spirit. Because he was he the pain was agonizing. That God said, Now you know how I felt when I lost my son. When my son Jesus died on the cross. So now here it is. I'm feeling the flip side of Jesus being the father and God being the father of the over the world. And how he said that he has spiritual sons and daughters in this earth realm. There's an agitation, there's an irritation, and there's people that say that they, they're walking in the ways of God, but they're irritated, they're mad, and they're, they're using manipulation. And what they're trying to do has not been birthed yet. So they're aggravated. They have a short temper and they cannot handle what it is that they're walking in. It's like they're literally finna break down. And I tell you, preacher's kids, it's something different about them. When I gave my life over to uh, Christ in 2008... And I got my call to preach. And whenever I began to preside and I began to walk in a preacher's uh, path, I tell you what, my kids did a three seats. And I looked at the one day and I was like, man, these ain't none of my kids. But I understand. A lot of folks don't know the warfare and how to speak about the warfare. To be broken from the carnal mind, to see in the spirit, and to walk in the spirit, and to really confess the fear spirit. But the false doctrine that has been handed down from generation to generation inside the church has led the children and the body of Christ astray because they're being taught to house these demonic forces now. But in Jesus' ministry, Jesus cast them out. But there's a dealing with families. And it says that in the book of Matthews how father will be against son and son will be against parents and daughters will be against mother. And this must come and it it's coming to literally break you down, to have you halt and stop, to fall away from the faith. But only those who endure in Christ Jesus shall last. 
So I know the feeling of a loved one. I know the feeling of kids acting up. But my kids know how far to take it with me. They know when to stay away from me and I stay away from them. But I always think this may be the last time. So I had to break down and I had to call them again. And as I'm sitting here, I've been dealing with it. And I prayed for a lady yesterday. And she's concerned about her kids. She's concerned about her loved ones in the name of Jesus. And I already know if God brought you to it, he already brought you through. Because I had to deal with it too. So it's something that is going on. And it's something that God is trying to tell you. But as I think back about it, because I'm just real agitated, I'm irritated about children. And I'm dealing with my kids, and I, I, I got so sorry for my spirit early. And I was like, Lord, I don't even know this call leading God's people and being a spiritual guidance and a spiritual mother over children. Because I gave my life. When I say I sacrificed my life. I sacrificed my life whenever I gave, when I got saved because I knew the path that I was going down was not a good path. And I had a daughter and I didn't want my daughter to be caught up in the lifestyle that I was caught up in. So I, I sat down. I said, I sacrifice, I sacrifice. And when I began to think about that at that moment, and I recall back to what the man of God said about how God said, you know the pain that I feel. I just heard God says, now you know the agitation that, um, and the feeling of Jesus. The sacrifice that God gave for his children. His children, they're acting up. They're disrespectful. He called them and they don't answer. And they come and they make a promise. But they don't hold on to their vows. And they come with attitude. And they just come into the presence of God all willy-nilly. And just demanding things. And whenever uh, you chastise them and you rebuke them, they don't listen. And then when they get hurt, they just wail out of their belly. And they crying out. And they just want to just keep on talking. And they, but they don't want to listen. He said, so now you know the feeling and the sacrifice that God that Jesus made for his children in the name of Jesus I tell you what this messed me up and it still got me messed up because I'm looking out over and I'm like I look at my grandkids and I be like I'll be telling them like stop no don't do that if you do that you're going to get hurt but they just keep on and then as soon as something happens they get hurt and they there you go you crying and I just heard, and you know what, I'm sitting up here thinking about it, and I listened, I did this, this like fourth time, the video would not go forward. And then Jesus said, it's you. It's you. I'm calling you, but you won't answer. You only answer when you're ready to answer. I'm telling you what it is and how it is and what you need to do. But you keep on. And I just remember seeing myself in the spirit earlier. Standing there. Little girl. Little girl. Get that out of there. In the name of Jesus. And I got to think. I was like God I don't even know. If I could sacrifice myself like that again. Because I look at my grandbabies. And I'm like. I'm going to end up. I got to keep them covered. I got to raise them. But Jesus, I don't even know if I got it in me. I sacrificed my life for 20 years for my kids to go astray and to follow somebody else's false doctrine and somebody else's teaching for financial wealth and the things of this world. But that's when God says you got to forsake all others. You got to take up your cross and you got to follow him. You cannot live for somebody that is grown. The only thing that you can do is... um. Keep the faith. Keep your eyes on, on, on the cross and on Jesus. And you got to keep on moving. And you got to live the life that God has called you to live. To be a light in darkness. You can't live for no grown people. Because sin leads to death. And I heard God says you cannot mourn. And you cannot be sorrowful for the dead among the living. They, the ways of the world and the, what they're doing. It leads to death in this place. In the name of Jesus. And they're dead in sin in the name of Jesus. On this life's too grand day, my sisters and brothers in Christ. This is something. And this is heavy. When you have to learn to sacrifice yourself. To lead and to walk in the image of God. And to be a light for those. For Hello.